Hey guys, so in this video we're going to look at how to combine two ratios into a single ratio. So if we look at this chap here on the front, uh, we've got two ratios. So imagine that we're dealing with apples, bananas and coconuts. Then the left ratio tells us uh, the ratio of apples to bananas, whereas the one on the right tells us the ratio of bananas to coconuts. So we want to combine those two ratios into a single ratio, apples to bananas to coconuts. So let's have a look at how to do it. It's quite nice, it's not too tricky. So the uh, the trick to it is the part, uh, the letter that is common to both ratios. So here we've got B's in both of our ratios. So what we need to do is alter each ratio so that the B part is the same number. So at the moment, in the left ratio, we've got A to B is three to five, but in the right hand ratio, we've got B to C is three to four. So what we need to do is find the lowest common multiple of five and three, the two B components. So the lowest common multiple of five and three is 15. So then we're gonna need to alter each ratio to make the B part 15. Now we can multiply ratios up exactly the same as we can with fractions. As long as we do this to one side, then we're absolutely fine if we do it on the other side as well. So to turn uh, this 5 in the left hand ratio uh, into 15, then we're going to need to multiply the whole ratio by 3. So this would become 9 to 15. And then in the right hand ratio, to turn 3 into 15, we're going to need to multiply by 5, so that will give us 15 to 20. So now we know that A to B is 9 to 15, and B to C is 15 to 20. So because both of the B components are the same, we can now write this as a single ratio, 9 to 15 to 20. So A to B to C is 9 to 15 to 20. Cool. Let's check out another one. Okay, so in this one we've got exactly the same situation, just different numbers. So the letter that pops up in both ratios is B. So we need to check out the B components of each ratio, which are 3 and 7. Then ask ourselves what's the lowest common multiple of 3 and 7, which is 21. So to turn 3 into 21, on the left hand side we need to multiply it by 7. So if we multiply this left hand ratio by 7, left and right, then we're going to get 14 to 21. And then in the right hand ratio to turn 7 into 21, we're going to want to multiply it by 3. So we get 21 uh, to 27. So now we know that A to B is 14 to 21 and B to C is 21 to 27. So as a single ratio, A to B to C is 14 to 21 to 27. Jobs are good and again. Let's check out another one. Okay guys, so we're spicing it up here. We're using different layers, uh, exactly the same sort of approach though, except for the common component is in a slightly different position this time. So we've got M to N is 4 to 7 and M to O is 3 to 4. Now this time, as I say, the common component is the M part of each ratio. So we need to work out then what's the lowest common multiple, the 4 and 3, which would be 12. So we need to turn the M component of each ratio into 12. So to do that with the left hand one, we're going to multiply by 3. So we're going to get 12 to 21. And on the right hand side, we're going to need to multiply 3 by 4. And that will give us 12 to 16. So we now know that M to N is 12 to 21. And M to O is 12 to 16. Now, even though M is at the start of the ratio and O will be at the end of the ratio, we can still just write this as M, which is 12 
to N, which is 21, and then to O, which would be 16. So that's M to N to O. Cracking. Let's check out another one. Okay, so this time we've got a, a, a three component ratio and a two component. So we play with this exactly the same way that we have dealt with the others. So we find our common component, which here is y. So 4 and 5, we need to think of the lowest common multiple, which would be 20. So we're going to need to multiply 4 by 5 in the left-hand ratio, so everything needs to be multiplied by 5. So we get 15 to 5 to 20. And then in the left-hand side ratio, to turn 5 into 20, we're going to want to multiply it by 4. So that's going to give us 20 to 36. So our ratio, x, uh, sorry, w to x to y to z, can be written as 15 to 5 to 20 to 36. Okay, guys, so that's how we can combine two ratios into a single ratio. I hope it's useful. I'll do another one as well on a GCSE exam paper style questions.